Hello everyone, it's DA here, and today I will be taking a look at loot boxes, RNG, and the almost endless grind that we see in most games today, and also what such fate holds for games like Warframe. Now this is something that I brought up because a lot of people have been asking questions either in the video or even in the Warframe forums. This also is a question that has been asked about the upcoming Planes of Eidolon update and the fear that a lot of people have that RNG and Endless Grind will actually kill that update. Now if we take a look at recent games like Shadow of War, Battlefront 2 and the yearly FIFA, it seems like EA is trying to milk the RNG microtransaction and you not only have to buy items to give you a statistical advantage but you will also have to grind heavily to complete the game. Now this is also the same logic that most AAA titles have been pushing for years now and I believe games like Overwatch began the popular new age of boxes and also because of that success most companies took the torch and followed without really breaking it down. Overwatch in this case also used a logic that has actually worked for a lot of their established player base and even the franchise with all Blizzard games and this is why it became really successful and even with all the loot boxes people still play them and even buy them. So will Warframe evolve into this form of in-game mechanic and the answer is going to be yes but not in the way that you assumed. After multiple events with massive changes and even the void glitch episode, DE is actually learning and is evolving to learn the art of microtransaction. And I believe we and a lot of player base and a lot of people within the industry can actually give a lot of credit of that to games like EVE Online for the incredible in-game economy. This is a game that a lot of people have seen that have been successful with this mechanic and have actually made millions from this. Now most games with microtransaction end up going down the drain mainly because those items create a power distinction that we can always see between players and a lot of people see this as the pay to win mechanic. They also have stat benefits and most of these games don't even have a reliable in-game trading between players which means whatever every player acquires or achieves they are not able to share it even if they have two of the same thing. Now the trade chat in Warframe gives way to an economic balance or even a chance to crash the market prices or crash the system. This is also one of the things that makes it fun when it comes to trading, buying items, selling items and even make some people come back to Warframe even after being mad and angry at the prices. So Planes of Eidolon will not require a purchase to play, however it may involve countless of hours in grind and even endless missions just to acquire a certain item. And you may even have to spend some plats to elevate the fun, however some items will be easier to acquire and some will even be harder than ever. Warframe will hopefully not evolve into the realm of purchase loot boxes, however I still hope that this will actually change some things because we can still see some monetary requests in the game from time to time. Now let me know what you guys think about the game and in-game microtransactions in a lot of games that I've mentioned and if you bought any of these games in this list. Let me also know what your biggest concern is concerning the upcoming plays of Adelon and if you would like to see more on this channel feel free to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe for more. And as always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you all in the next one.